हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम इजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माय स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क प्रोजेक्ट वर्क सीरीज आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग माय वीडियो सीरीज इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर गेटिंग मोर अपडेट्स फ्रॉम माय चैनल एंड लेट्स कम टू द वर्क इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द स्टैटिक रिसोर्स हैंडलिंग एंड विच इज about how to access this uh, css file javascript file and other static resources in your web page now in this current video i am going to talk about the modular view planning with the help of jsp include tags so let's begin from the code so here this is my jsp page and i have got this header and uh, actually uh, there is a possibility to modify the header frequently in the software and that's why we prefer to keep this header in a separate file so look at this just cut this header from this place and create one separate page inside this folder so i'm going to call it include and keep that create one jsp under this folder this is my header dot jsp copy the header here right so i shifted my header from index page to the header page and now you can include that header here look at this this is jsp colon include and you can tell the file name here this is the page and uh, from the include folder you can select this header right so this is a better idea right similarly i am going to create one menu here i am going to add menu through the separate file so create one more jsp inside this include folder and this is my menu page menu.jsp and uh, you can write your menu here so i am going to use here anchor href it is good practice to use your menus through the uh, it is good practice to use menus or links through the tag library so i will add all the tags later on but for now i just want to use here simple menus this is home then i required a link here for this is login and uh, then i will add here home login this is registration register user and we can add some more menu here and this is like uh, about right so this is the menu i am going to use i will add links in coming video series and now just include that menu page here so this is again jsp colon include and include your page here from this folder and this is menu page right so i have got here header which is created in a separate page and menu is created in a again different file okay and this content area will come continue here so here i am going to add a form so let me write here h1 here i don't require include because this is a page body and for every page this area will be different so here i required a login form so this is user login and uh, i'm going to write here to do to do html form will be created here and i required here this footer page so do one thing add one footer page here so this is footer page footer dot jsp it will add jsp automatically here look at this dot jsp is automatically added here now i have got this footer page here footer header and menu and this is the footer i am going to work and you can write some copyright message here like uh, remove this this m percent so this is copyright message you can write here some message copyrights by easy on
techno solutions private limited and you can add a hyperlink here okay this is ready and uh, write the URL HTTP colon easyontech.com and open this link in new target so this is target in new window you can write here target underscore blank so this is this will be the link will be opened in new target so this is the copyright message and now you have to include this page in your index page so just copy here so this will be your footer page so right this is all set now open that page here just refresh this refresh your index page you will get a menu here look at this menu header is taken from the header JSP page menu is taken from the menu file and look at the menu options we have added and this is the content area we'll work around this in next video so just I want to save this to the top so this is V align this is vertical align top so this will be taken here okay and I will add the form here in coming video so this is ready and uh, if you required any changes in your menu you just have to update the menu.jsp page for example I'm going to my customer required some more menu here so what we have to do just add one menu here in your menu.jsp page and this will be reflected throughout the website so for example this is help so look at this when you write this help it will be added here look at this help menu so this is the way you can uh, update the menus from a single file and uh, the whole website will be reflected here now let me show you how to add a new page so when you require a new page in your website you just have to create one file here so suppose I'm creating a home page for a general user for example so this will be my home and let me call it this is dashboard actually so this is and dashboard the home page for any user which is displayed after just just after the login that page is called dashboard so dashboard for user dashboard user so how to create this page just copy this index page here look at this copy this index page and just paste here yes so this is my dashboard page okay and what you have to change here you can change the title here this is my user dashboard this is user dashboard page and everything will be same you just have to change the contents so this is your user dashboard this is user dashboard and you can write here to do user options in this page so that's it this is the user dashboard page ready so I'm not linking this page from any controller but this is the way you can uh, reuse your layout which is gen which, which is prepared in the index page so this is the way so I think this is enough discussion about the include and reusing your view pages and, and what are the views we have been reusing here header.jsp menu.jsp and footer.jsp this is header this is menu and this is footer so these three pages will be included in all the web pages for your website so that when you require any of the modification in the top header menu or uh, footer page you just have to update a single file and uh, the changes will be applied throughout your website because mostly the header footer and menu is common for the whole website so this is enough for the discussion and thank you very much for watch watching and don't for forget to subscribe and see you in next video series